We are sitting with a view of the Dead Sea, but all I'm concerned about is the sea of food that is on the table right before me. This is just, the entire table is filled with food. Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Wadi Ram, Jordan. And waking up this morning, it is nice and sunny, it is a beautiful day. You can hear the birds chirping and look at these rocks just surrounding our tent. This morning we are going to go on a camel ride and then after that we are driving to the Dead Sea. We're having a quick breakfast, they set it up self-service buffet style and all of the common breakfast things to eat like hummus and vegetables and bread and also I got an egg omelette. Take up an olive, dip it into the labane which is the yogurt and that will be my first bite. Mm. That's always a great combination, hummus. Let me grab a piece of that omelette. Mm. Hmm? And I think a little bit of that laminate on there. Because of all the rain we had last night and yesterday, you can see all of the, the flooding that has happened here in the desert. But today is a nice, bright, sunny day. We are on our way to go ride camels. So we're driving just a short distance, I think, maybe over the sand dune, and we're gonna ride camels in the desert this morning. How does that feel? Okay, now. Nah. Whoa. Whoa. That was quite a roller coaster ride when the camel stood up. <laughs> oh, this is this is the way to travel in the desert. This is fantastic. Despite it being kind of a bumpy ride. It is, there's something so peaceful and relaxing about riding a camel. This is amazing. We have stopped for a quick food break they're munching down that bush and they are just just completely munching that entire bush the branches they just chew the entire thing <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Oh, I can really feel that in my inner thigh. I'm definitely gonna be sore. Okay, thank you for the ride. It hurts to walk. <laughs> but camels are just amazing animals. They're they're graceful, but they're kind of awkward at the same time, and they have such skinny legs and such upper big upper bodies, but they are really amazing animals and they play, they have played such an important part in the history of this desert area. Just stopped off at a gas station for another cup of coffee and these are little date rolls. They're kind of like fig rolls, but these are dates. Mm. Yeah. Filled with dates in the middle and then like a um, crumbly pastry on the outside. Mm. Followed by Arabic coffee. It's, it's unsweetened, it's just chocolatey and cardamom filled.
We just made a quick stop at Mount Nebo and Mount Nebo is the mountain where Moses came and in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy 34 it is where Moses was brought and God showed him the promised land so there is an incredible view from up here. You can see the Dead Sea way off in the distance flickering in the sun. We have just arrived to the Dead Sea and before we check into our hotel, we are having lunch at a restaurant called Ocean. One of the beverages you have to drink when you come to Jordan is lemon mint and this is one of the finest combinations for a beverage. Yeah. It's really sour and really minty, but that combination, it, it works so well together. Chef, this is Mark Weed and Ying, I have an opportunity to meet the chef who has prepared all of this food. Thank you very much. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you. I'm gonna take a bite of one of these cheese pastries because they are hot and fresh right now. They look kind of like egg rolls, but they are filled with cheese and then just a, a thin dough wrapper and deep fried. <coughs> That's awesome. That takes the cheese stick to a new level. And then something you do to get started with some of the salads is you drizzle on some olive oil. I will take this bottle of olive oil, sprinkle this over the mutabal, which is the roasted eggplant salad. Sprinkle a little bit of this on. All right, and then also some on the hummus. Add a little bit of olive oil to the hummus. The next thing I have to try is called kibbe, and this is a mixture of minced meat and pine nuts, which is then wrapped in bulgar wheat and then deep fried. So this is deep fried kibbe, and these are the little nugget-sized beauties. That's awesome. The meat inside is really nicely fragrant. Maybe from allspice, maybe black pepper as well. It's very crispy and you can taste the, the, like, the like grains of that bulgar in there. I'm gonna try the lamb sausage and this is a Jordanian type of sausage. Mm. That's awesome too. Oh, you can, the immediate taste that I can get is cumin. It almost has like a salami flavor to it. <laughs> Next up is this beautiful salad right in the middle here, which is made from a combination of the heart of palm, which is what most of this is, and then underneath there are some other vegetables and some artichoke. That tastes very similar to ba like a bamboo shoot. Mm. Mm. I won't be able to take a bite of every single dish on camera, but I just want to tell you that all of the different salads, the tabule, the mutabal, the fatouche, the hummus, everything is incredibly good. Our main dish has arrived, and this is a dish called sayadiya. And it is a combination of rice, which is spiced like biryani rice, and then this is a tomato sauce. And then there are two different types of fish. We have a grilled fish and a fried fish. And then also on here are some bloomin' fried onions. So they're chopped like this and then deep fried so you can see those crispy onions. And this is yet again just an impressive platter, family style dining experience. I'm gonna take a little bit of the rice, some of the grilled fish. Oh yeah, that is tender and and so soft. And then a little piece of the fried fish. <laughs> Go in for some of that onion. I love how onions are used in Jordan in, in every way, roasted and fried and raw. 
and then finally some of that tomato sauce. Oh, that's deeper than I thought. That goes all the way down there. <laughs> Gently pour this over. Okay, I'm gonna take some of the onion. I'm going for that piece of grilled fish first. That fish, oh, it's cooked so it's still juicy and it's flaky and again it has a wonderful roasted grilled flavor to it. The onion is both deep fried crispy on the edges and then it's just crisp naturally so it's not, it's not overcooked but it still retains its natural crispness and sweetness and then the rice is um, just slightly fragrant with some spice. Mm. I think I, I prefer the, the grilled fish because that gives it that extra dimension of smoky roasted flavor. That is awesome, the vacuum on the table. <laughs> it is now sunset and we're just enjoying this environment and as soon as we finished eating they cleared the table and then they used a vacuum to just clean up the table. That was an awesome move and I just got a cup of coffee and a couple of different desserts. This one is called Osmelia and uh, these are crispy noodles on the top and then inside is fresh cream and then topped with some pistachios. I'm gonna dig right into the the middle of this delicate dessert to try to get the cream on the inside. Oh yeah, you can see that cream on the inside. And then it's it's uh, sweetened with syrup. You can see the syrup just kind of gushing out of it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, follow that. Mm with some coffee. Mm. Oh, coffee is very fragrant. The cheese on the bottom is really, really creamy and rich. This one is called Esh Il Saraya. That tastes like a piece of bread and it has a very, very floral scent to it. It almost tastes, you know the smell from the Plumeria flower? It almost tastes like that smell. And he just peeled us an orange in a, in a beautiful decorative manner. <laughs> Look at that, with a little orange hat on top. Mm. Mm. That is so juicy and refreshing. We just finished with that meal and met all of the chefs at the end. That was a, an excellent meal. Thank you to all of the chefs at Ocean Restaurant. We got checked into the hotel and we are taking the golf cart to get to our room now. Video! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Welcome! Thank you! This is the bed. And we got a really nice room here with the swimming pool view. Oh yeah, our balcony opens up right up to this huge swimming pool. Over here is the bathroom. This is a really nice room and it's a huge resort. I'm probably gonna take a shower and then we have dinner coming up soon at one of the famous Lebanese restaurants located at this resort. Tonight for dinner, we are eating at the Burj Al Hammam restaurant, which is located right here at the Crown Plaza Hotel. I just love how you get such a variety of different things to snack on at any restaurant that serves Levantine food. One of the things I am interested to try right now is a little bowl of almonds served with a cube of ice on top. I think those are raw almonds. Yeah. That's like that's like almond milk tasting and they're like cold and refreshing. But the first thing I'm going to taste is this dish which is minced raw minced beef mixed with a variety of different spices. And I think these are pine nuts and then yeah, topped with onions and tomatoes and so this is raw beef. 
Oh, a broad beef is one of my favorite things. I'm not even gonna eat anything with this. I'm just gonna reach in with my fork and grab some of that. You don't need to chew. That just melts in your mouth. It has a really amazing taste of cumin and maybe some chili powder in there. And then it's just so smooth and just silky. Oh, that is, that is wondrously delicious. Ahmed just showed me how to eat the raw beef. And so he took a piece, a, a spoonful of the raw beef and spread it out on my plate and then added some garlic sauce to the top and then sprinkled it with olive oil. I grab some onions, put them into the bread and then I'm gonna scoop into that, that olive oil with the meat and the garlic. Like, like that. Get all that olive oil on there too. Wow. With that creamy garlic sauce and with the extra olive oil. Mmm. Gotta go in for some of these chicken livers. And they look crispy, and I think they're like just kind of sauteed in a sauce. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. That has a very like kind of sour. Maybe lemony taste to it. It's uh, parsley. Okay. With tomato and onion. Okay. It's for the dish and it's olive oil and lemon. Thank you. The very kind waiter said we should try the tabbouleh because the tabbouleh is very well known at this restaurant. It's parsley and onions and tomatoes and the cracked wheat. And tabbouleh is always one of my favorite salads. Oh, that's amazing. It is so sour mm. from lemon juice that it actually like tingles your tongue a little bit. That is um, some excellent tabbouleh. Mm. The main course has just arrived and we are having the mixed grill which includes chicken and grilled meat and grilled, I think shish kebabs. And then the other dish is kebabs which are grilled and then sitting on a bed of tomato sauce. It looks and smells so good. And then the meat, there should, I think there's parsley in the meat as well as some light spices and then you eat it with the tomato sauce there. Mm. That's awesome, I love kebabs. This one is the grilled chicken and let me cut that in half and he said it's good to eat with this garlic sauce. A little dip into that garlic sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Chicken is good as well. It has like a, a kind of a lemon, a lemon chili flavor to it. I'm so full right now and I'm, I'm just happy full of food. And I think I'm gonna go to bed now. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And I'll see you on the next video. See you tomorrow for a dip in the Dead Sea. And I am a huge fan of tabbouleh, which is parsley, a parsley salad. It's, it's awesome. Oh, not usually on bread is, right? Okay, I'll just eat it. <laughs> but it, okay, I'll just take a bite. And the, the tabbouleh in particular is one of my favorite.